Hey guys, what's up? It's Melanie. First off, wow, I have not talked to a camera in the fattest minute, so this feels a little bit odd. Sorry if my, my eye contact is a little off. I'm a little socially awkward right now. But today we have ahead of us a very, very exciting video. You know it's a good sign. When I wake up at 7.30 a.m. on my own, no alarm, because I'm so excited to film, and there's just so many ideas rushing through my head right now. We also have a full day of sewing ahead of us, so hopefully that goes well. Hopefully I don't sew over my finger or something. I haven't started yet But as you can see by the title today, I'm gonna be thrift flipping some items which I have not done in forever I just whipped out my sewing machine. So I'm so excited So excited to get back in it without further ado I have a lot of things that I want to upcycle so I'm not gonna intro too much into this I am going to be going over the pieces and showing you what I have here right now in my room before I head over to my sewing station. Okay, so for starters, I have this. It is just this, okay, I can't hold it. This little crop raggedy looking sweater. And I actually saw this thing on my explore page on Instagram that I want to try recreating. I want to preface that all design rights go to the owner. You should totally check out their shop. Her Instagram is underscore Aaron underscore made. So you can check her out. I thought this was so cute and I I really like the little boho vibe and so I'm gonna go find some like scrap fabric all right guys what's up you might be wondering where am I I'm in the basement you probably didn't know it. actually maybe you did know we're gonna start off with sweater right here and I have this scrap fabric I have a lot of it I don't really know I have it but this is perfect Perfect, perfect piece that I'm going for. So the first thing I'm gonna do is cut out a piece side. I don't want it to be super perfect. That's great because I'm not good at cutting perfect shapes, but basically I'm just gonna cut out a little general size, laying it over my sweater right now is what I'm doing. And then I'm gonna start snipping at it that it actually looks like a piece sign. I like that the piece sign is bigger than the sweater, if that makes sense. Oopsies, like it's a little just not. Oh, sorry, I'm, I'm, I just woke up at 7. My excuse for everything today is sorry I woke up at 7. I'm gonna flip this over and then I'm gonna start drawing on it. Hey guys, what is up? It is voiceover Melanie here and we are starting off strong with this first thrift flip. I'm so excited for this one. I think it's so cute and it's not that difficult. And also you can change up the pattern and prints which I think is super awesome. I started off by just sketching roughly the design on the back of the fabric just that way you won't see it. After I got the shape down the way I liked it, I just used some fabric scissors which made it so much easier. I highly, highly recommend getting fabric scissors and then I just cut along all of these lines until I had the shape that I wanted. Okay, so now that I have my piece sign pretty much cut out how I like it and laid flat, I'm just gonna use a couple pins to keep it in place and then I'm just gonna sew around the rim of the piece sign basically. I feel like it's it's pretty self-explanatory. The thing I like most about this one, well so far I haven't really done it yet, but I really like that it's kind of scrappy looking so it doesn't have to be super neatly sewn because I genuinely don't know how to do that. Right here I'm just pinning down my design onto the sweater. It makes it so much easier. Okay guys, it is time. We are taking out the sewing machine. Let's see how this goes. Ah, it's heavy. So I don't really know if I can sew through a sweater. Gosh, I'm getting a little nervy. Okay, so I was pretty nervous about sewing through a sweater, but honestly, it worked pretty seamlessly. I just did a straight stitch around the entire perimeter, and so it went by pretty easy. Ah, nice. I wanna show you how this turned out. Of course, I'm trying it on for you guys, but I, this is so far starting off great. A success, I think this is Freaking adorable. I vibe with it a lot. And uh, to try on later. Piece number two. This I just picked up, I think, either at the Goodwill bins or a Goodwill at some point in my shopping thrifting career. But I just thought the pattern was cute. It's really good quality, but I have no clue what I want to do with it yet. It's just like a little zip, almost kind of like cardigan. So I know I could keep it as is. I could also just crop it and call it good. But I want to see if I can come up with something a little more creative. This is the one I have the most freedom with, per se, because I don't have any ideas right now in my mind. She a blank slate. I don't know what I'm doing with this one, but it's just a collar. I like the neutral brown kind of like trim along the zipper. So I think I might turn it into some type of like smaller top rather than this long sleeve. 
I look like this right now because I, I have to keep taking off my, my turtleneck so that I can try stuff on. It's honestly so tiring. I'm drained from this. Now on to the second piece. I'm going to start off by cropping it, but I'm going to use the excess fabric to make extra little like crop top or something so that you guys don't feel like I am taking it too easy. But I just drew a little mark, which I literally drew in brown, which is probably the dumbest idea I've had today because this shirt is literally all brown. But the reason I decided to keep this just as like a crop sweater is because I really really like the little fur detail in the front so I didn't want to lose that the third piece actually the third and fourth I'll group them together they are two pieces if you saw one of my more recent videos I thrifted with my mom so these are two pieces that I thrifted for her but she didn't want to keep them and instead of returning them I figured I would just use them for this upcycling video they are a lot larger than my size that's perfect because it gives you extra scrap material so far what I have in mind I have this skirt you can't really tell but it's a dark brown and it's like a long skirt so right now I'm thinking with this one I've been really into and looking for a midi skirt so I might just crop this one to fit my waist and then use the excess fabric to make some kind of top drappy tops have been really in so that's what I'm thinking for this right now so with this bottom I'm thinking am I thinking I don't really have a thought in my brain right now I'm thinking I'm turn this into one of those little I'm way too lazy to take this off is this enough fabric to turn this into one of those like those top I don't think it's enough fabric Look at me, I'm dying right now. Brown, brown. I'm gonna use this with the skirt and then I'll make the top. Okay, guys, we got it. We got it down. I'm gonna keep this little scrap fabric to the side because I'm gonna use this for sure. For the skirt, I'm gonna start off taking it in pretty self explanatory. It's so like cut and so a straight stitch down the side so that it fits me. And then once I have the excess fabric, then I will get back to you guys with how I'm gonna make this little top. Okay, guys, so first off, I finished this skirt literally just like a, a midi skirt it's not that interesting but i'll try it on for you later but i've been spending a lot of time once again deliberating this tank top situation so here's what i'm thinking pardon me i'm not taking off my sweater to show you this but this is what's going through my mind oh i have this little scrap and what i'm thinking with this you know those tops that look a little a little something like this a little halter i was like hey that'd be so cute so what i'm thinking is i'm gonna shorten this a little it's it's like up here like one of those tops and then i'm gonna use this brown scrap to kind of something like that is that cute i don't know we'll see i also like that this has the little brown trim here so i think that looks really nice and would look good just so like straight on here so that's what i'm going for this thing i'm gonna do is just like measure this i think that's fine okay honestly you can probably tell by now but my thrift flips are very like impromptu i kind of just eyeball everything as is my life okay i'm actually i'm getting really excited for this i think i'm gonna cut out maybe this little panel i'm gonna try to cut out basically as many rectangles as i can and then i'm gonna essentially sew these rectangles together to form a bigger rectangle if that makes sense and then that rectangle is gonna be the back and I think I'm probably just gonna make it like a tie Okay, so I was pretty frazzled in this video from waking up really early, it seems, and I really did not verbally communicate what I was going for here or what my plan was, but basically, I ended up combining all of those rectangle fabrics that I made to make a long strip. Okay, guys, I'm gonna show you a little update with where I'm at. So first off, I have this little thing. It's just like a long band, and this is gonna be my little, like, wrap around the front. I'm gonna tie it in the back. And I have this second part, and this is gonna go around here, kind of like a halter. And so then, I'm gonna attach this to this somehow i don't know how yet but it's gonna be like that and then you're gonna tie it in the back and that's pretty much my update okay my apologies i know it's very hard to see exactly what i am doing here from this angle but basically i just went along pinned the top part of the shirt down to the dark brown fabric that i have for the body and then i just sewed them together it was pretty simple all right guys i finished this top it looks kind of weird but i'm super excited to try it on but unfortunately i actually have to go to class right now finally getting a much needed sewing break and then i will come back to sew some more the other piece that i have from that video are these pants i love this green color i might try to take them in i was thinking maybe if i like make those cool panels like on the front or the back i don't really know how to do that but i guess we're gonna see if i'm able to <laughs> oh so that's um where i'm going with these 
Okay guys, so with these pants, as you saw in that trial, they're very, very big. What I'm thinking right now, of course I'm gonna take in the waist a lot, so I think I'm just going to pin them in. My plan for this is to make them kind of like panel. I think I know how to do that, like in my mind I do. You kind of just make like a little hem thing or something, I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out as we go. The best way I can do that is just try them on and start pinning like a mad woman. Alright, so with these pants, the original shape of them was kind of tapered, but I am way more of a wide leg, straight cut kind of girl. So basically, I was trimming off a lot from the waist. Okay, I took in the waist a couple of inches. Now I'm working more on like the design. Kind of just give some dimension. Hopefully, this will work out. Once again, I know the angle is kind of horrendous. I'm so sorry that you can't really tell what I'm doing, but I decided to put a French seam along the front of my pants. Basically, you're doing kind Kind of like a double seam so you do want to make sure to leave some extra fabric when you are making the pants doing this i found was the easiest way to mimic those sort of panel pants that have been pretty trendy and then the last thing i'm really excited for this i picked this up for literally two dollars which is really good because fabric can be really expensive but i got i guess it's a blanket or something but it's like pre-made patchwork which is insane because i've been so in love with patchwork i made one patchwork top it took probably a whole week it took so long so finding this honestly amazing i like this side which is like all sewn in but this side even that has like the seam i don't know what it's called i also really like how that looks it's a little edgy and this is a lot of fabric like i could make a whole dress a whole set out of it so i'm not really sure i'm thinking like some type of tank top or slouchy top wow for the fifth and final diy thrift flip this is the last thing we're working with for this i think i'm gonna be going for one of those slouchy little you know you know what i'm saying slouchy little tank tops like this that should be not too hard. It's gonna basically be backless, so I'm just gonna sew a little like loop for the like strings to go through, and then it's gonna be like a tie. I, I think I'm gonna cut it diagonal because I don't want it to be like actual. I want it to hang kind of like this. That looks pretty good. I'm just once again eyeballing everything that I do. I love the sound of that. Okay, so I have my little five by five cube. What's gonna be hanging down kind of like this? And basically all I need is put this in a little bit, make my strap, and it'll basically be like this. And then I just need straps. Wow, easy. I should have thought of this before. For my straps, all I'm gonna do is, you know how like they already hem the edges of a lot of things? I'm just gonna cut that hem off and use that as my strap. Here you can just see me snipping away the perimeter of this quilt little fabric thing. Okay, so now I have this long, long, long string. I have this little slice of fabric. And I'm just going to make a little pocket so make a little open hem on each side here that i can thread this through and then that will give me the strap and just you know like lace the back basically using my sewing machine so pockets basically that i would later thread through my little string all right so now that i have this all sewn and ready all i have to do is little string and thread it through so a little hack for this is using a little safety pin like this you just pin it through one side and i swear it makes it so so much easier to thread. Actually, if I didn't have this, I don't think I'd ever be able to thread anything. And I'm sure there are more creative ways you can do this to make the back like a cooler strap. But honestly, I'm fine with just an open back because I, I can't do anything more. But look, that was so easy. We have a top. We'll see what it looks like on in just a second when I try literally everything on. Okay guys, the most rewarding part of this video, which is trying all of the things that I just made, I think this is so cute. It gives it a very boho little feel. I don't know if you can tell if this is a peace sign, but either way, I dig it. This is what just the cropped little cheetah print thing. I think it would look really good with tennis skirt, jeans, literally anything. Okay, guys. Right, let me start off by saying I probably wouldn't wear this together. Too matchy-matchy for me. This is what the top looks like. The skirt is just like a super basic midi skirt, but it kind of flows a little. Ooh, this is what they look like. This is what I was describing. Like I made a little paneling. I don't know if that's what it's really called, but you can see it's kind of like a. This is how the last piece turned out. I made the strap really long, so I was able to tie it around here. I thought it looked kind of cool. Also, please don't mind my bra straps. Also, this is like, you know, barely hanging on by a thread. But either way, I think, I think that's a win. I think that's really cute. So...
All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you guys really enjoyed this video and it gave you some ideas or if you just enjoyed watching my thrift flips. And hopefully, um, this is you stick around here and on my other socials if you want to see other things that I thrift, upcycle, style, or just like, I don't know, me in general. I love talking to you guys. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys. I know you want to leave, so come on, baby, be with me so happily.